Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. You may not know that Moonlight on iOS has now got restrictions in place to only be able to use it for local devices. So if you're using something like Maximum Settings and want to use Moonlight on your iPhone or iPad or any iOS device, you will no longer be able to use it to connect to a remote PC that is not on your network. So to get around this, we know of a program called Zero Tier. This is a completely free VPN that will allow you to use Moonlight with minimal latency and this is how to set it up. This will work for any devices. So first thing you need to do is go in and set up a network and it will give you this long network ID at the top which will become relevant later. It's gonna give it some details and enable private access control. This is recommended so you don't have random people joining your network. And then it will by default pick one of the 192 ranges, but just so it doesn't conflict with your network setup. My network uses the 192.168 range, so I'm gonna move it to the 10 range. So do check whether you are on the 10 or the 192 locally, and then just switch it to one of the others. So once we've set up the network here, we will see that we've got this manual addition to node IDs and that we've got no devices on the network at the moment. So the first thing you need to do is set the PC up. So whether this is your local PC or one of the remote machines like Maximum Settings or Air GPU, log on there and download the Windows application. Once you've downloaded that, get it installed. And then when you run it, you'll see it running in the system tray, as you can see on the right here. And you'll see that there is a ID of the zero tier node, which is the local PC here. So we're going to take that node ID. If you click it, it will copy it. And we can go and add that to the devices list on the network that we just created. This will automatically approve the device. And if you don't approve the device, it will create another VPN every time you do it. So if you add your PC specifically first, you will see that this gets added okay it does take a few seconds the first time and when you go to add it it will show up in this list down the bottom and you can see that it is authorized and at the moment it has no ip address so let's actually connect to the network you see it's given us that network id here but it's also at the top of the page so just copy that and then on the zero tier application we're going to right click and say join network And then we paste in that network ID. And we're going to say allow default so that we can route through here locally. And as soon as we hit that join button, we'll see that the page will update after it asks me to create another network on my Windows PC, which is basically that virtual route. And now we can see that we've got an IP address in this network that we've just created for my PC. So you can see I have also got another network for zero tier which i was testing with previously and also my standard connection so now we've got a node set up to our pc and the zero tier network set up we need to do the same thing on the ios device so i'm going to use my ipad here because i've already set up my phone so on the ipad you need to go to the app store and download zero tier one and we accept the policy and then it's quite a simple application we're just going to say add network and accept and then we need to add in that network id again so obviously you can't copy and paste here so it is manual entry and because we haven't added this node straight away through the node id check that because it's a private network it's joined as a unauthorized device so once we finish entering that it will trigger the vpn add on the ios device so just authorize that to add the vpn and then when we try to connect, we'll see that the connection will fail because it is unauthorized. It takes a couple of seconds to get that configuration and then you'll see it pop up as denied. So if we go back to the web version so we can see that node appear, we can then tick the auth box on the left hand side to authorize that node. And for ease of use, we're just going to give a name and short description to those devices so I know which one is which. And then just by updating that authorization, if we switch back to the iPad, we don't need to save the settings as it seems to do this automatically on change. We can see that the iPad has refreshed and the network is now authorized. So this doesn't 
update automatically on the iPad. So what we need to do is just disconnect from the network and reconnect after it's been authorized. And then we'll see it update with the new configuration. We can see that we've got an OK there and it's the private network. And on the website, the iPad now has a IP. So now that's all set up, you can install Moonlight on your iOS device if you haven't already. As I'm using my desktop as the example here, I do already have it set up remotely, but I'm going to change over that configuration to the zero tier one. So to do that, I need to enter the zero tier one IP address, which we can find on the website. So I'm going to enter the new IP address and we can see that that has updated my local configuration to now use the zero tier connection. And I can now RDP to my machine over any Wi-Fi if I'm out and about and I've got a hotspot connected or if it was my phone or I've got 4G on the iPad, then I can connect via the 4G now. So that's how you set up Zero Tier 1 for Moonlight so that you can now use it on iOS devices externally. Let us know in the comments below whether this has helped you and hopefully you won't have any issues, but feel free to stop by our Discord if you have any issues and we'll do our best to help you out. Moonlight is definitely the best way to connect via remote PCs for remote gaming, so Hopefully this will get you up and running on your iOS devices once again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all things cloud gaming. And we will see you next time.